Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. But you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to regenerate and heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. We'll get to them at the bottom of the hour, as we always do. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or business, if you have a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, questions about formulations or ingredients, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Or you can head to our websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com and order products right off the website. And you can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team if you want to help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you're health-minded, if you've benefited from nutritional supplementation, if you understand the concepts of nutritional supplementation and you want to improve lives and you want to make money and you can make some substantial money, Please call 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business, and I can help you build it. And uh, if you're already on my team or if you're already doing, uh, participating in the longevity business, part of the longevity family, please tell folks, clients, people who you're working with, people you uh, are already selling products to or people you're interested in uh, signing up or selling products to, please have them listen to this program. It's uh, One of the things that we are about is promoting not just the longevity products, but the longevity logic, the idea, not just the products or the business, but the idea that's behind the business, that's behind the products, and that is that you can change your life with a good nutritional supplement program. You can uh, reverse health challenges, improve your health if you're already healthy. By understanding the concepts, the theory, I should say, of using nutritional supplements. And by the way, that word supplement is very important. Supplements supplement a healthy diet. There are folks who say, and I was just reading this from the Harvard uh, newsletter that Harvard University puts out or Harvard Medical School puts out, and they were talking about how you don't need to supplement. You could just eat the best way to get your nutrients is through foods. And in a way, they're right because, sure, the best way to get your nutrients is through foods. That goes without saying. That's obvious. You don't need to be a genius to understand that foods contain cofactors and, and uh, substances that help the body utilize nutrition and nutrients that are not going to be in a supplement. But the fact of the matter is, is our foods are corrupted and adulterated to the point where you don't know what the heck's in them. And the soils, it all starts with the soils. The soils are depleted of minerals. That means the foods are going to be depleted of nutrients. The foods, the plants, the way, the, the way uh, bio, biology is structured is the plants turn the rocks, the minerals, in the, uh, the soil substances into the vitamins and the essential nutrients. But if the soils are depleted, which they are, nutrients are not going to be in the veggies. 
nutrients are not going to be in the foods. And that's just the facts. That's just the way it is. You know, we live that way. So what do you do? You supplement, you supplement, you add to, you support a healthy diet, a good diet, a calorie restricted diet, ideally with good nutritional supplements. That's, that's the idea. That's the theory behind longevity. If you buy into that and if it's already changed your life and you like to make money and you're business minded, please call 866-735-2470 and tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team. All right. So we've been talking connective tissue. We've been talking uh, about, uh, well, we've been talking about the connective tissue for a while, and for good reason. If we are truly, seriously interested in health, if we are serious about eliminating the disease process, and I don't, I say that, uh, you know, I don't say that lightly. I don't think, sometimes I don't believe that we're all that serious, that we're okay being moderately sick that we're not serious about eliminating disease. If we're serious about eliminating disease, it can be done. Chronic degenerative disease is reversible. I I know that's, I say, I I haven't said that that specifically, but I really want to emphasize this. If you are dealing with an autoimmune disease, if you are dealing with a, a degenerative disease of any kind, a chronic degenerative disease, that is a disease that's long term, that isn't reversing, that's getting worse, it's degenerating, I want you to know this. And I'm going to say this as clearly as I can. It is in the body's nature to heal and reverse disease. Now, if you have 50 years of of doing the wrong things, that means it's going to take a little bit of time. But you can reverse it. You can begin to reverse it right away. And if we're serious about it, we have to understand the nature of connective tissue, which accounts for some 33% of what makes us up. Somewhere around a quarter to a third of us is connective tissue. And not only does the connective tissue connect, obviously, it's connective tissue, not only does it connect our individual parts together, our bones and our organs and our glands, not only does it hold our skin in place, but the connective tissue actually connects every one of the 100 trillion cells that make the body up, connects everything together, connects each one of the cells to each other. That's amazing. You have one substance that connects each one of the 100 trillion cells in the body into one homogenous whole. Do you think that makes the connective tissue important? You better believe it. The connective tissue, it's like all the cells are embedded in the connective tissue. All the organs, all the bones, all the glands, all the muscles, all the cells themselves are embedded in the connective tissue. It's kind of like when you buy when you buy something fragile or you buy a a, a pricey uh, set of headphones and it comes in a package with a foam, uh, kind of a a foam insert that's cut out to fit the headphones. I'm not sure what that thing's called actually, but there's like a foam insert and it's carved out and you put the headphones in the foam insert to protect the the headphones. That's your connective tissue. Imagine all your organs in your body are like one of those precious set of headphones or electronics or whatever it is that's, be, uh, that's wrapped up in the phone. That's how uh, uh, every cell of the body is stuck into the connective tissue in that fashion. That makes the connective tissue incredibly important. The connective tissue uh, covers all of our body, all of our components with a protective coating. The connective tissue links our bones together. It links our muscles together. No movement can occur without the connective tissue. The connective tissue is a form-fitting foam that all of our internal structures sit in like, like, like fruit in a jello mold. It feeds, the connective tissue feeds, it nourishes, it detoxifies all, every one of the 100 trillion cells in the body. So it should be no surprise that all of our health challenges, all of our diseases, our chronic degenerative diseases, all of our illnesses involve and even perhaps are caused by clogged up, dehydrated, toxic, malnourished, deteriorating connective tissue. And we don't know this and we're not taught this because Western medicine is obsessed with separation. And we talked last week about how our culture is obsessed with separation. We build walls. We're obsessed with closing things off. We're obsessed with dividing. And and you know what else? It's no surprise. The modern medical model is the same way. Western medicine is predicated upon carving the body up into separate systems. The respiratory system, the endocrine system, the joint system, the digestive system. And we have all these specialists to address all of these different symptoms or systems. Are we better for it? No. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 
are back. <coughs> We're back on the bright side. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm Pharmacist Ben, and we are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific Time and 10 to 11 Central Time. We're on 24-7 uh, on our archive page at brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com. You can search both. Uh, both websites. Thank you to, to Peter in the UK for setting up BenFuchsArchives.com, which is a really cool website. Uh, let's see. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, our Truth Connective Tissue Building Skin Health products, that's why I call them Skin Health products, because they're about driving the production of connective tissue. That is the raison d'etre, the reason for the existence of the Truth products is to drive the synthesis of connective tissue. Collagen, elastin, the fibers that strengthen the connective tissue, and the so-called proteoglycans and sugars and complex sugar protein molecules like hyaluronic acid, Truth products, stimulate the production of all of that. That is why I created them. That is how you have beautiful skin topically. No surprise if you've been listening to this program that healthy, beautiful skin is a connective tissue issue in many ways, in most ways. There's a little bit of a, a pigment issue probably, uh, pigmentation, which is surface, but other than that, you're dealing with mostly connective tissue issues when it comes to aging skin, photo damaged skin, fine lines and wrinkles and thinning skin. All of that is about the connective tissue. True skin health products drive the production of connective tissue and they do it really and truly. They're not foo-foo. There's no wax, no water, no filler, no, no emulsifier, no surfactant, no nothing in the product that doesn't have something to do with driving the production of connective tissue. That is an astounding statement, folks, in the world of skincare. No, nothing in the product that is not how somehow dedicated to driving the production of connective tissue, to making things happen on the skin. That's what the truth is. The truth is that's what you should be using on your skin. That's the only thing you should be using on your skin, in my opinion. Why would you rub preservative on your skin? I would wear a mask when I had to work with preservatives. I wouldn't want to touch it. I'd wear gloves. Oh, but it's only 0.1%. Well, I know, but do you really want even 0.1% of poison rubbed into your skin? Literally, I'm not being figurative here. Preservatives are poisons. They kill things. That's how they work. That's how they preserve. They kill cells. All right. So we're talking connective tissue, uh, fibrosis, sclerosis, stenosis, scoliosis. These are all connective tissue issues. If you hear the word fibrosis, like uh, if you have a fibrocystic breasts or uterine fibroids, if you hear about fibroids, that's a connective tissue problem. Sclerosis, atherosclerosis, a hardening, multiple sclerosis, a hardening. All this is about the connective tissue. Stenosis of the spine, connective tissue. Defective connective tissue that's, that's uh, uh, irritated, weakened, deteriorated, inflamed, and ultimately fibrotic, because that's what the body does when in the connective tissue is constantly assaulted. It forms fibers to protect the connective tissue, to make it stronger, to strengthen it. That's behind the disease, folks. It's not, it's not a bad thing. It's just not supposed to happen all the time. That's, the way, that's why anti-inflammatory drugs are so dangerous and so toxic because we're suppressing the body's protective response. Fibrosis, uh, it, first you have deterioration and, and, and irritation to the connective tissue, then you have an inflammation of the connective tissue, then you have a fibrosis of the connective tissue. And this is behind every health challenge you can name, from autoimmunity to liver disease to chronic pain to uh, uh, TMJ, tri uh, uh, the horrible issue that happens with people's the joint, the transmandibular joint, right in your mouth, in your mouth area. If you have TMJ, you know what I'm talking about. Migraine headaches are related to connective tissue in the brain. Chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia are related to connective tissue. Endometriosis, connective tissue. Cystic acne, connective tissue. Interstitial cystitis, which is a bladder infection that nobody knows what the heck to do with, is caused by inflamed connective tissue. Hello. That's what's causing it. If you have interstitial cystitis, which is a miserable condition, where you have to go to feel like you have to go to the bathroom all the time and it hurts, it's like a, a like a long-term bladder infection that never goes away. It's because the connective tissue in the bladder is inflamed. It's a connective tissue problem. 
That's why you build connective tissue. That, the way you deal with interstitial cystitis is you eliminate assaults to the connective tissue, which come in through the blood, which come in through food. That's the relationship. That's the connection. That's why food, food toxicity can cause all of these problems. Food toxicity causes interstitial cystitis because toxins get into the blood. The blood then carries these poisons, and ultimately it starts to poison the connective tissue. The, connect, the, the poisons actually get dumped into the connective tissue. And by the way, the blood is connective tissue itself. Cellulite is a connective tissue issue. Can, uh, arthritis and even cancer is a connective tissue issue. And as we've been saying for the last couple of days, heart disease is about the connective tissue. It's not about the heart as an organ. It's about the structure, uh, the scaffolding, the framework that the heart cells are hanging on. That's the connective tissue. The heart is covered with connective tissue. It has, uh, the, the pericardium is a bag of connective tissue that covers the heart. And all organs, by the way, have a scaffolding. They're built on top of a framework of connective tissue, like when you build a house. When you build a building, you build the framework first, and then you hang the various parts on the framework. Likewise in the body, the framework is the connective tissue. Heart cells, so the bulk of the heart is heart cells, and it's all held together by connective tissue, which is responsible for nourishing the heart cells, responsible for oxygenating the heart cells, responsible for detoxifying the heart cells, so the heart cells can then do the work of pumping the blood. The heart cells are muscle cells, and many, m most of them are muscle cells. They pump the heart, and they're, they depend on their existence from the connective tissue. The connective tissue is the womb in which the cells sit in. The connective tissue is like the mother to the cell. It's the matrix. It's, it's called the matrix. It's called the extracellular matrix. That's the name for the connective tissue. That's one of the names for the connective tissue, the extracellular outside the cell matrix the mother, the womb, and the heart cells feed off the connective tissue. And just like a mother feeds a baby or a fetus, it's like a mother feeds a fetus and detoxifies a fetus and breathes the fetus, the connective tissue does the exact same thing for the heart cells. And once the connective tissue breaks down, you're going to have problems with the heart. It's not a heart problem, it's a connective tissue problem. The, the heart, the, the uh, connective tissue in the heart is absolutely vital, vital, vital. And this is why when it breaks down, the body has this mechanism for, for, uh, for fixing it. And the mechanism involves the formation of plaques, which act like a Band-Aid to repair the connective tissue. This is not a bad thing. This is a good thing. It's bad when it keeps happening. And the question is, why does it keep happening? And that's where you run into the nutritional component. And that's where you run into the, the toxicity component and the lack of oxygen component. This Band-Aid, these plaques are not supposed to be suppressed. <laughs> it's idiotic when you think about it, but nobody tells us this because we don't study this, the connective tissue. We don't study the relationship between the connective tissue and what it is and what it does. We study the organ, the structure itself, as a, the heart. Oh, you got a heart problem? Well, we'll just give you the statin drug. Heart disease is an energy disease. The, the cells don't have the energy to do what they're needing to do, and it begins with damage to the heart, damage to the connective tissue. The heart is, is dependent on collagen and elastin and hyaluronic acid and all of the other components of the connective tissue as any other bodily organ or system. Now, certainly you've got a muscle, muscle problem eventually, and mechanics eventually are going to be involved, and there may be a blood pressure component, and there's you know, certainly going to be a, a nutritional deficiency component. But really, at the end of the day, what you're looking at, is, at least to start, is broken down connective tissue. And as we said last week, one of the biggest reasons the connective tissue breaks down is because of sugar. Sugar is a major, major toxin to connective tissue. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll get your calls when we come back from our break, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're talking about here today, if you're dealing with a health challenge, if you want to see the connective, the relationship of connective tissue to your particular health challenge, and by the way, if you do have a health challenge, this is why connective tissue building substances like my bone broth protein, which you'll find at brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com, uh, that's why that's such a valuable source of nutrition. Bone broth protein contains the amino acids required for building connective tissue. Glucosamine, bone broth itself, chicken, this is why bone broth is so powerful. 
chicken broth, chicken soup, bone soup. I started talking about bone soup uh, 15 years ago. 20 years ago, we learned about it in pharmacy school, the power of cartilage. Doc's been talking about the power of cartilage for decades. Dr. Wallach, he, he came, uh, that's where we came, he came up with the idea for the pig pack because Dr. Wallach knew, as pharmacists are trained, that cartilage is extremely, and extremely powerful as a, uh, a, a, a healing substance that affects multiple systems as a comprehensive healing substance. This is why bone broth is so powerful. It's a connective tissue building substance. When you have an opportunity, opportunity to build connective tissue via food and nutrition, take it. If you're a vegetarian, it becomes much harder. You can do it, it can be done, but you're depriving yourself of major connective tissue building substances, which are, tend to be found in animal foods. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number from Kanazawa University in Japan. Activation of extracellular signal regulated kinase signal pathway. That just basically means the stuff around the cell, the extracellular matrix by light emitting diodes. They, they shine light on your, uh, on your wound and connective tissue building is initiated. And doctors are mystified according to this article in Lasers in Medical Science. Quote, irradiation by light emitting diode, that's those LED lights that you see uh, in, your, in tiny little book reading lights or lots of little devices have LED lights now. So they shine these LED lights, uh, LED devices on a wound and the wound is stimulated. And quote, the scientists say, its mechanism is still unknown. They don't know why light stimulates the production of, or the production of connective tissue. Well, it turns out the connective tissue is a, a light absorbing device. Yes, your connective tissue absorbs and emits light. Your connective tissue itself is a light emitting diode, just like those little lights you see on your computers. Anywhere you see an LED light, that's what your connective tissue is. It's an LED light, it's a weak light, and they didn't really know about it, they hypothesized about it for a long time, but they didn't really know about it until about 30 or 40 years ago. The connective tissue is emitting light, and it's absorbing light. There are so many amazing things to the connective tissue. It's hard to even know where to begin, but it, it's suffice it to say, if you're dealing with a health challenge, that's one area that you, that's the primary area, primary area you want to focus on. All right, like this one, Alzheimer's disease found to be a diabetic disorder of the brain. Huh, surprise, surprise. Where have you heard that before? Researchers at Tohoku, Tohoku University, and that's in Japan, writing in the journal Molecular Psychiatry, have found a promising treatment for Alzheimer's disease by noticing a similarity in the way insulin works in the brain and in the pancreas of diabetic patients. There's a similarity to uh, the insulin defect that diabetics have in Alzheimer's patients, and that should come as no surprise. Alzheimer's disease has been called type 3 diabetes. Why? Because sugar destroys tissue, particularly connective tissue. The brain has its own version of connective tissue. Technically, it's not connective tissue, but it's a supportive system. It's called glia, G-L-I-A. We're going to be talking about the glia. The glia are most of our brains. Most of the component of our brain is made up of the stuff. Nerve cells make up a small, maybe 10% of your brain is the nerve cells. The rest of the stuff is supportive. As you would imagine, the nerves in the brain being very, very important. If you ever saw a brain... I don't know how many of you guys have ever seen a brain either, uh, you know, and they're plastic models of it, but you ever see an actual brain? Well, uh, I saw one on TV the other day. It's, it's amazing that all of our reality is created by this thing. That, that's just an amazing idea. If you, and it's one thing to think about, it, but if you actually see a brain, how does this thing do it? How, what is going on here? In any case, 10% of that thing is nerve cells. 90% of it is supportive. We talked earlier about migraine headaches. Do you know migraine headaches are a connective tissue problem? It's a sign of inflamed connective tissue. If you get migraine headaches, you've got a problem with your connective tissue. If you've got a problem with your connective tissue, that means some, uh, something is affecting the way that connective tissue is getting nutriated. Something is affecting the way that, uh, that connective tissue is getting oxygenated. Something is affecting the way that connective tissue is being detoxified. Migraine headaches are a connective tissue problem. <laughs> I don't mean to, you know, beat a dead horse here, but this is so important. All right, 844-236-6010. Truth Raider, what's going on, man? Good morning. Hey, Dr. Ben. Hey, I got to get this out really quick. 
Yeah. Behind my grocery store, they put out two or three containers of unsold food. And in those containers, you find all kinds of thrown away fruits and vegetables that barely have any damage to them. They might have a little mark. Or they may be over there. There are a lot of uh, time of, of, of freshness being on the being on the floor, being in the being in the grocery store, and in there you talk about beyond tangy tangerine. I found at least three or four bags full of tangerines. <laughs> and I bring them home. All right, all right. So that's called dumpster it. diving. <laughs> they call that dumpster diving. Is that is? Yeah. Are you telling? What are you saying here? Is that you just saying that's how you got your breakfast well, this morning? Well, this, I, this I don't understand. Of, this is a bit of truth to put out there in the world. Some, of, some things, in the, some best of things in life, as I said, you know, the old cliche, the, some of the great things in life are free. Okay, all right, and, all right. Uh, well, anyway, I use that as a supplement to my Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and it really expands the quantity of what I have. And what do you, you squeeze tangerine juice, is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, that and I could just eat the tangerine just as a food. Anyway, it, 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 you know, just a little side note there. Just a okay, bit thank you for sharing reality. that little tidbit of no. the life of uh, Carl the Truth Raider. What's going right. on, though, man? Now, How can I help here, you? I'm, I'm so upset about this. I'm happy, and I have respect, that Billie Jean put, pulled her name out of it. But they were both teaming together, selling, the oh, once again, the pharmaceutical industry. Pushing oh, yeah, the, Billie Jean King, you mean? Yeah, she got out of it. She she's did? teaming up with Jerry. Now it's just Jerry. Did she intentionally get out of it, or is she, there, she's not doing it anymore? Did I she actually say, I can't do it? Her, it's just oh, Mr. Okay. Mr. Clutch himself. Mr. What's Basketball. his name? Who's Mr. And that's the one where they're selling the diabetes drug, or they're selling the blood thinner? No, this, he was talking about warfarin first. He took warfarin. He said he okay. had difficulties with warfarin. Now yeah. the yeah. Realm, that was one yeah. today tablet that yeah. controlled his eighth dib. You know, what you're talking about, Carl, is a very interesting subject called direct-to-consumer marketing. And this is very, it's actually kind of recent. I, you, you're old enough to remember when the, there were no drug commercials on TV. You probably remember that, Carl. Because no, they only started like in the 80s, yeah. I think. Late 70s yeah. or 80s. Somewhere in there, they started doing direct to consumer. And that's when the commercials started to use the same techniques to sell their products. The drug, comp drug commercials use the same techniques to sell the drugs that McDonald's used, and that Snickers used, and that car manufacturers used. That is, they use branding, they use slogans, they use jingles, they use cartoons. They use all of these techniques, these marketing techniques that were finally that were uh, uh, honed and refined in businesses like cosmetics and businesses like the food industry. For decades, they started to apply these techniques, and it's so insidious, it is so nasty, but it creates a situation where people, where, where drugs get branded in people's minds, and we get brand washed. There's a title. That's the title of a book about how branding brainwashes us. Hang on, we'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. Got lines open at eight four four two three six sixty ten. Eight four four two three six sixty ten. If you have questions about the longevity products or skin health questions or anything we're talking about today, success story you want to share, or if you have a health challenge you or a loved one needs help with, 844-236-6010 is our number. And, of course, if you want to purchase any of our uh, longevity products, you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. And if you'd like to purchase any of our truth skin health products, connective tissue building products, high-end products, premium products, gourmet products, powerful products. Ask anyone who's used the products, they'll tell you, these things kick butt, as they should. So we're trying to make something happen. We're these ain't foo-foo and pretend. We're making something happen on the skin. Hey, uh, you can check out all the Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. All right, Truth Raider. Let's see, where were we? Truth Raider. So, yeah, that's yep. the direct-to-consumer advertising thing where, where, where drug companies use celebrities and cartoons and slogans and all the things, the, you know, the kind of ideas that you're talking about to sell their products. And it's really nasty and it's really insidious. The drug companies are selling selling us stuff like a car manufacturer sells us stuff. You want to be very skeptical about people who are selling you stuff. Ask questions. Not skeptical in a negative sense, but in an in a open, in a, a scientific sense. Ask questions. What is going on here? Is my depression really going to be taken care of no matter how, uh, by taking this prescription drug? 
regardless of how smiley faced the person is who's taking the drug. You ever notice how happy everybody is who's taking their drugs, Carl? The truth always. Raider? They're yeah. always so, they're so happy <laughs> and they're strong. They're climbing mountains. <laughs> they're clear. They're, they're uh, jumping out of airplanes. These are strong, powerful people taking the drugs. You don't see the truth about who's taking the drugs and about what happens when you take the drugs. All right, man, I got to go. Uh, anything else you want to add? Yeah, uh, all of this, the truth bearer's role is to always expose and explain the truth. My Thank idea. you, Truth Raider. Have a beautiful day, buddy. All right, good to talk to you. Melody in California, welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Ben. Hey, I have hey. to tell you that your truth treatment products really work. Thank <laughs> you, Melody. Really good success. And I'm actually I appreciate going to find some more for gifting myself for Christmas. Oh, you're sweet. So, I'll tell you what, put a little yeah. note. Put a little note in your order, and I'll throw you in something special. Oh, thank you. Yeah, right. well, so my I'm question so... is, I have not heard you, um, maybe you have, I haven't heard every single program, but um, I, I'm starting to get um, ridges on my nails, vertical ones, and I've always okay. had really strong nails. They're growing really well. I, I do the okay. collagen and all that. But what's about how old that? are you, Melody? How, about how I'm old are you? I'm in my 50s. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal, sweetheart. Okay. A, good skin, a, good, a good physician or a good skincare profession, professional will always look at your nails first. The nails are the, are the fastest growing visible tissue in the body. You could really see what's happening inside the body by looking at the nails. Nail problems always mean something's happening. Usually it involves nutrition and nutritional deficiency. And now that nutritional deficiency can be from nutrients or it could be from malabsorption of such nutrients. Or I should say it could be from nutrient, nutrient deficiency or malabsorption of nutrients. You follow me? Both. Yes. Yeah. You've got to address both those issues. First thing, you want to start pounding nutrients, especially the B vitamins and minerals, selenium, zinc, calcium. Just make sure you're getting enough of those. Magnesium. Uh, the second thing is, and I'm, you probably want to do this first, actually, now that I think about it. You want to do these together. I don't know which is more important. Do these together. Uh, it is correct any digestive health issues. If, you, if it's that significant, you definitely have a, health, a digestive health issue somewhere. Does that sound familiar to you? Um, I've been doing the... Um, no, the Melody, I, Melody, stop. No, I don't, the, I don't know what it could be. I really... No, don't. listen to me. I'm asking a question. Listen. Does it, okay. could it, do, does it sound familiar that you may possibly have a digestive issue? I'm not attacking yeah. you. I just, okay, yeah. good. That's no. it. That's it. No, That's all. It's That's all. Absolutely. That's all. That's all. That's where you want to focus. You would do that, number one, by, you, you know the drill. Uh, elimination di uh, fasting for a couple of days, then the elimination diet, where you write everything down, food diary, look for problem foods, become a detective, notice a relationship, and then start doing things for the gut, especially apple cider vinegar, digestive enzymes with your meals, the ultimate enzymes from your longevity are great, fermented foods, vegetable juices, um, uh, the nightly essence probiotics. Let's see what else. You may want to try some lecithin granules, maybe some extra bile salts. It may have to do with fat absorption. There's a very important relationship between mineral absorption and fats. So if you have a bile problem or a liver problem or intestinal problem, any kind, all of that can compromise your ability to absorb minerals. You have, a, you have your gallbladder? They didn't take yeah. it out? Yeah, okay, good. Yep. Yeah, okay, good. So, uh, yeah, so, so focus. The enzymes, like what three or four with every meal. There's no, there's no real way to know. Just, just I, I like to do something I call functional dosing, where you take a bunch and then see how you feel, like seven or eight, and then start working backwards or work forwards. If you work forwards, take it eight or nine or ten, and you feel better, you find a cutoff point where you don't notice much of a difference, or you reverse it and go backwards and take less, and you find a cutoff point where you don't notice a difference. That's called functional dosing. Does that make sense? You follow okay. me? Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. Okay, What's good deal. What's the difference between the um, longevity products and then the ones that you have on your bright side health? Uh, I don't have any longevity products on Brightside Health. Brightside Health is just stuff I like personally that I think okay. people should have and that I know work. If it's on Brightside Health, I've seen it work multiple times. By the way, I'm getting great response from the CBD, uh, Pure Hemp, uh, which I knew I would get, uh, Pure Hemp Technology CBD product on my website. It's mm -hmm. a place where I market products that I think are really, really, really good and people need. And I vouch for them as being really, really, really good. They're, they're on that site. They're really, really, really good. All right, I got to move, Melody. Okay. I hope I helped you out, Thank okay? You. No, God you bless have. you. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right, uh, Angelo in Texas, good morning. What's going on? Good morning, Ben. Um, hey. I was recently diagnosed with Bray's disease. Okay. And I've heard you on some of the archives talking about uh, hypothyroidism, but... Uh, Hyper. Uh, what about Graves? Uh, 
I have hyper right, but I, yeah. I was heard the other. So. Let me, let's talk about that real quick, okay, Angela? First of all, make absolutely sure you do not let them kill your thyroid or remove it. There's like 500,000 of them taken out every year. This is obscene. Right obscene and they take if you have cancer that's one thing you know maybe you need to have it you don't want it to spread but but if you have just graves disease that is not a reason to take your thyroid out or poison it that is idiotic with a capital i and you uh, know uh, there's so many idiotic things that the do medical model does to us that's near the top of the list is removing a thyroid if you have graves disease okay so here's the deal well, I'm, I'm i'm in belief that my thyroid's working just fine well, it could very well be. Just because a doctor tells you something doesn't make it so. Now, uh, so I, I'm not going to, I don't know whether it is or it isn't, but here's the thing about Graves and here's the thing about autoimmunity. Graves is a sign that the body is in major distress. It's a, it, it's a signal of emergency. So what you do is you calm the body down. I don't want to say it's a sign. It, it is the precursor to an emergency. When the thyroid is revved up, the body goes into a hypermetabolic state. This is, only happens when there's some kind of stressor in the system, and that almost always means food. And this is what autoimmune diseases are about. Now, in the short run, if you have the symptoms of Graves' disease, the, the horrible tack, the fast heartbeat, and uh, do you have any of this stuff, fast heartbeat, rapid pulse, or shallow breathing, or anything like that, oily skin? I do. Oh. I do, and have been medicated and have uh, recovered from it, but I'd like to get off the medication. Calm the and, body uh, down. Use, par use all that relaxing techniques we talk about. Use um, uh, deep breathing, hot water, immersion in hot water, massage, meditation. Re you got to learn to relax the body. That's how you handle it in the short run. In the long run, you got to look at what's getting into the blood that's causing this distress, and it usually means a food. When you have an autoimmune disease, the first thing is to do is food. When you have anything, the first thing to do is food, but particularly autoimmune. Okay, so are you there, Angela? Yes, I am. Are we, okay, so... I, restricted in the diet, like gluten-free, uh, right now dairy-free, uh, soy-free. You, you, you don't do it like that. I don't know if i do it that okay. way, Angelo, and I'll tell you why. Because you, everybody's got their own specific issues. you got to find what yours are. And that's why this food diary and elimination diet is so important. Not everybody has a problem with dairy. Not everybody has a problem with all the components of dairy. In other words, not everybody's going to have a problem with yogurt. Some people have a problem with milk and not yogurt. Some people have a problem with butter and not milk. You know, you got to figure out what your particular flavor or brand, if you will, of a uh, food allergy or food tox, of food intolerance is. And the food diary is the best way to do it. And foods that are ordinarily that you think are necessarily good are not necessarily good. You may have a problem with vegetables, for example. You may have a problem with organic veggies or organic broccoli. And as far as gluten-free goes, the problem with gluten-free is there's other components in flour that are a problem. Gluten's just one of them. Gluten's a family, and it's definitely an issue for a lot of folks, especially if you have autoimmunity. So look for your own particular problems, and then do all the things we talked about uh, with Melody on our last call for supporting digestive health. All right, Angelo, I got to move. Thank you so much for your call, brother. Have a beautiful day, and I uh, hope we help some folks out today. Check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And if you want to purchase any of our uh, Brightside Health products, go to brightsidehealth.com. Take a look at the Pure Hemp Technologies product, uh, our CBD oil, as well as, uh, as well as our bone broth protein at brightsidehealth.com. All right, have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day, my friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.